It's the moment teachers and educators have been waiting for. After today, many will be completely vaccinated. This as Franklin County's mass vaccination clinic comes to a close. Good evening to you, everybody, and thanks for joining us tonight. Six, I'm Carrie Charles. And I'm Darlene Hill. Colleen has the night off. The rush is now happening just days before the governor's deadline to reopen classrooms in Ohio and take the first steps away from digital learning. New tonight at 6 o'clock here on NBC4. Karina Chung joins us live. And Karina, you spoke to some teachers after they got the second shot in the arm. How, what did they have to say about it? Well, Darlene, teachers tell me that they are thankful, thankful that they were able to get both doses of the vaccine, but also thankful to get back into the classroom. It's been a constant flurry of activity. Hundreds walking in and out of Hilliard Davidson High School, one of the two mass coronavirus vaccine sites for education staff in Franklin County. Getting the second dose and knowing we're going all in on the 15th is like a breath of fresh air. First off, it allows me to continue to make an impact on the lives of children, uh, which is why I uh, am a coach in the first place. Teachers and staff in Franklin County will have their second doses just in time as several districts are forging ahead with a 100% return to school model in March. Hilliard, Reynoldsburg, Olentangy and Westerville school districts put out those plans in the last few weeks. Sam Pearson counts himself as lucky. Lucky that Ohio put a priority on teachers. I know I have some family in other states where they're waiting and they're wanting to get vaccinated, but Knowing that Ohio put the teachers um, kind of in the front of the line to get vaccinated and get our kids back in school is huge. Teachers aide Muhammad Naki says he's ready to see his students. He wants to be a role model for them. We have to be keeping all these safety measures so they should know it. And first we should what we are doing, they should know what we're doing and they will copy us. Freshman football coach Dan Wren says this is only one step in the direction of normalcy. You know, it takes a team and it takes a village. And I think that Davidson and Hilliard and surrounding communities have done a great job in making sure that everyone is as protected as possible. And Saturday is the last day for these clinics. Now tonight at seven hear from the president of a local teachers union and what he expects out of teachers moving forward. Local for you in Hilliard, I'm Karina Chung, NBC4.